Hi there. My name is Miss Townsend and I love math. Welcome to Math with Townsend. This video is for grade 10 students who are working on the year-end summative. It's question number six, which is from the linear system section. It simply says, find the values of A and B in the diagram below. So clearly this is some question that involves two variables. So there's A and B. And usually two variables require us to find two equations. So how are we going to find those two equations? Well, we have some sort of geometric properties. We're looking at angles, so we have to remember some of the rules about working in the world of geometry or angles. So here. Now when two lines cross, they create what are called opposite angles. And opposite angles must be equal to each other. So if you look back at my original diagram, this red angle is opposite this red angle. Therefore, they must be equal to each other. Well, the angles must be equal. So I can say that 2a plus 3b must be equal to 124. And again, I know that because of the opposite angle theorem. And I don't know if your teacher needs you to go as far as explaining how you know that, because um, I don't think that reviewing geometric properties is part of grade 10. But you know, I'm just teaching you things because things are good. Um, anyway, let's look at what other geometric properties we're going to need, because we only have one equation, but we have two unknowns. Um, another important principle, when you have a straight line, what you have technically is you have half of a circle, right? Here's a whole circle, and there's 360 degrees in a whole circle. Therefore, a half a circle or a straight line is 180 degrees. So this angle here, marked in green, plus this angle here marked in green must add to 180. And if I put that onto the original diagram, there they are. So this angle here and this angle here must add to 180. So let's write that down. So 3a minus 2b plus 124 must add to 180. So again, this angle plus this angle is 180. And technically the rule for that is called supplemental angle theorem. Where's my supla? Uh oh. Uh oh. Pencil not working. Let's see. Let's see if we can fix this. Oh dear. Belated. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, where was I? So the green angle plus the other green angle had to equal 180. And again, that's called the supplemental angle theorem. And supplemental is just a fancy math word for adds to 180. Um, you may know the word complementary angles, they add 90. Supplementary angles add to 180. And um, I'm pretty sure I've done some sort of horrible, egregious spelling error, but you know, Google it or something. All right, anyway, the point is I now have two equations with two unknowns. So now we can start to do the grade 10 math, which is to solve for A and B. So again, let me copy down my formulas. So I have 2a plus 3b equals 124. We'll call that equation number two. Nope, we'll call that equation number one. Wow, Miss Townsend, what's going on with your brain? And then the other one said that 3a minus 2b plus 124 equals 180. And I'm going to rearrange it um, before I give it a name. And I just want this constant to combine over here. So subtracting 124 from both sides, I get 56. So that's what I'm going to call equation two. So again, two equations and two unknowns, and all I want to do is solve. So how am I going to solve? Well, you have elimination or you have substitution. I personally really like to do elimination. So I'm going to try to make my Bs have the same coefficient because then I can easily eliminate by addition. And I prefer elimination by addition um, just because I'm better at adding than subtracting. It's just the way things are, I guess. So I'm going to make this into 6b and I'm going to make this into negative 6b. And that means I have to multiply equation number 1 times 2. So multiplying equation 1 times 2 would give me 4a plus 6b and 124 times 2 is 248. And then I need this to be a 6, so I need to multiply 3 
times that second equation. So that gives me 9a minus 6b, and 3 times 56 is 168. And again, I'm adding because positive 6 plus negative 6 is 0, and that's what I want it to do so to eliminate. So 4 plus 9 is 13. 248 plus 168 is 336. And now I have one equation with my only variable being a. So if I divide both sides by 13, oh, oops, what did I do? So through the miracle of modern technology, I'm going to fix my boo-boo. <laughs> because I hear you screaming at me through the computer that 248 and 168 is actually 416. Oh, thank you. And now, divide both sides by 13, I'll get a much nicer answer than if you make a mistake. So I get a value of A of 32. And now that I know A, I can find B, so I'm going to sub A equals 32 into equation number 1. So what's equation number 1? 2A plus 3B equals 124. Ooh, 124. Boy, oh boy. This modern technology sometimes messes me up. There, 124. So, here's how I like to show substitution. You'll notice I didn't write the letter A. I put a bracket instead. Now I can show that I'm substituting this value into this bracket like that. So instead of 2 times A, I have 2 times 32. So 2 times 32 is 64, plus 3B equals 124. Now I'm going to subtract 64 from both sides. Let's make sure I don't make a mistake. That gives me 60. And then dividing by 3, I get B equals 20. And of course, you know, you might want to go back to the original question and substitute those values into check. Um, so I do suggest you do that if this was actually for marks. But for now, I'm pretty confident that I have an answer. Put a box around my answer. Therefore, A equals and B equals, etc. So make sure you, you know, get a nice, neat answer for your teacher. All right, that may have been my fastest video yet for you grade 10 students. I hope that was